Coming up on the show, Bayswater take honours in the night series final, the NPL, what's in store for 2014, and all the excitement from the Perth African Nations Cup. Hello, welcome to Football 360 for another massive season and what a year it promises to be. A new era is just around the corner and to cap it off in a World Cup year. We look forward to bringing you the football stories from far and wide across the state. Well, it's only been three months since Bayswater City were crowned at 2013 champions and they were already looking to lay their hands on their first piece of silverware for 2014 in the night series final. In contrast, their opponents, Florida Athena, were chasing their first trophy in three years. Dorian Gardens played centre stage to the night series final between two old foes. Both teams came out firing from the opening whistle. Bayswater had the best chance in the opening minutes, but it was Floriot who dictated the play from there on. Ludo Boyd was sent through on a delightful through ball but got caught in between keeper Devin Spence and Chris Saldaris. David Hegney took the free kick but posed no danger to Spence. While Spence was making a nuisance of himself, Athena's keeper Yusri Kasala was caught into action after wayward clearance put him in a spot of bother. Bayswater's prolific goal scorer Steve Burton was then sent on a dashing run. He looked certain to give his team the upper hand, but a clinical tackle from Ashley Corker appeared to have cleared the threat, but referee David Costello awarded a penalty. The replay shows no contact against Burton. The 2011 Player of the Year wasted no time and converted the spot kick to give City the lead. In the second half, City came out all guns blazing. Burton looked for his second, but he was denied by the post and despite the fortunate ricochet, couldn't put it away. But it wasn't too long before Burton was back on the scorer's sheet. Some neat play from the back and middle of the park found Burton in space, who simply headed the ball into the back of the net. Bayswater City 2, Floriot 0. This was Athena's best chance, the shot hitting the crossbar. But by then, Chris Coyne's men had snatched the title, picking up where they left from last season. I think we've got into a bit of a habit now. It's Our target for the year was the four main trophies, and uh, well, I think we're going to go quite well at that, I think. Take us through that second goal. Yeah, it was a great ball. I don't know who put it in. I think it was Danny or uh, Batch, actually. Batch put it in. I shut my eyes, hit my head and went in and I was happy. Winning is part of the mentality, there's no room for complacency, is that what you're saying? That's it, Chris draws a line under last year and he uh, doesn't allow us to rest on the laurels and uh, we are the team to be at the moment so we've just got to keep focused and try and aim for uh, the next game. So, on to the first round of the NPL and ECU take on Coburn, Bayswater host Armadale, Perth Glory host Perth SC, Subiaco clash against last year's grand finalist Sterling, Flory face off against Inglewood and Sorrento are at home against Balcata. Well, a new era kicks off this weekend with the National Premier League. So tell us more about it is Football West Chris Beach. Chris, the NPL, what is it? Yeah, it's a new concept built from FFA that uh, encompasses basically the junior team of football as the second tier in Australia. And it's like to underpin the Hyundai A League. So it's an insight, exciting frontier part of football in WA moving forward. So how will it benefit football in WA at all levels? I suppose the criteria as part of the NPL, whether it be coaching accreditation, youth development throughout the first team is the, is the big bonus and to really establish the next level of Socceroos in the, in the future to come through the NPL setup. All the rivalries that we've got within WA football are fantastic and I think it's one thing that we really want to harness going into a new era of football with the National Premier League to be able to keep making sure that we keep looking back at, at our heritage and, and making sure that we harness that. I think it's going to be a really well played uh, competition this season. 
expecting big things. It was something that needed to happen and um, at a club at Inglewood we are looking forward to it, we've all embraced it uh, right down from under 12s all the way through to our first team so uh, really looking forward to it. The general goal in the club is to, to improve massively on our showings in, in the league in the last few years because we've always been at the foot of the table and I think it's time to change things around you know. If we can get into the top two and travel it's big for some of our players to get exposed nationally. It's exciting times, it's great for the development of the juniors and it's also fantastic times for young and experienced coaches, older coaches and, and players alike. Fantastic, the, the countries combined now, they, everyone watches all the other states, New South Wales, Victoria will be now watching West Australian football so it's a, a great bit of exposure for our West Australian players to be recognised as, as a good quality league. The link nationally now gives us a yardstick where WA football sits in terms of the national game because we've never had that. This sort of brings a bit of uniformity across the, across the nation, not just something that WA's brought up. Give old rivalries a new beginning. This year's African Nations Cup was hotly contested between Congo and Ghana. Congo in the blue were aiming to make it three in a row. And they were off to a flying start. Ghana pressed forward and looked for the equaliser. They were on level terms before the break. But it was Congo who then went ahead, beating the keeper at the near post. And they could have made it three, but missed a spot kick. It didn't matter, Congo victorious, much to the delight of their screaming fans. And that wraps up our first show for 2014. We hope you liked it. We'll be back again next week. Until then, it's bye for now.